So I am going to talk to you guys today about my journey from doing business with out Jesus and now with Jesus. Hey, this is Tania Thomas, Jesus lover, dedicated wife and mom, real estate broker and serial entrepreneur. So I have always loved business. I used to, I had business cards at 11. I used to write my dad's business checks. I used to go to my grandmother's, um, she had these club meetings and she had a briefcase and I just loved it. I wanted to carry the briefcase around. I'm like 11 carrying a briefcase. Who does that, right? But I've just always loved business. So I have been striving to turn my real estate career into a business for some time now. I fumbled a bit and I don't have it all together right now, but I must admit when I included Jesus, it made it a lot smoother. So my goal is to show you how to include Jesus in not just your business, but your everyday life because it'll help you to make a lot less mistakes. Keyword, less, because we all make mistakes. But that's what God's grace is for. The key is to get back up and try again. Keep going no matter what. So let me tell you a little bit about my journey. My goal when I first started my real estate career was to get rich, retire at 40, and live my best life. I started several successful businesses that failed, but I worked really hard. I put systems together. Everything that I thought I needed to do, I did. You know, they made hundreds of thousands of dollars, but they still failed because they were not built on a firm foundation, Jesus and his kingdom principles. When I recommitted my life to Christ, which is a whole nother story for another day, I decided to do things his way or as much of his way as I understood. And when I did, things started to look up. I started to consistently tithe and sow financial seed like I never did before because I had an example. My pastor and evangelist taught me, they showed me and they preached how they became millionaires off of doing things God's way. I started dedicating a lot of time to serving my church and it was like business just started flowing in. Most of my time, my focus was really to dedicate my personal devotion time with God and then serve my church. And it was like business came from everywhere. Then the curveball started coming. I didn't expect it either. Um, I remember being at a women's retreat and all of our team at that time, all of my team went to my church. And my evangelist called us all up and she was laid hands on us and she said through the spirit of God that the lid was off. So me, I'm expecting my company to just skyrocket straight to the top right after the retreat and it didn't right away. There were some curveballs here and there and the road was longer than I expected. My mind had to be renewed, you know, in order for me to sustain where the Lord wanted to take me. One of the things I had to learn was the balance between faith and work. It can't be all faith and minimal work. We're supposed to allow God to put super on our natural, right? But if we're not doing much naturally, what can he put super on? I couldn't keep sowing financial seeds and I wasn't sowing natural seeds into my business. The Lord taught me that and the revelation really hit after reading the book, Becoming a Millionaire God's Way. Look it up, it's a great book to read. I also had to grow internally. The Bible says, beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. Emphasis on soul prospering. I had to learn to not only see money the way God sees it, but to see people the way God sees it. I had to learn how to be a leader and not just a boss. And I had to learn how to put other people's success before my own. In essence, I had to humble myself and learn how to love people with the God kind of love. I also had to learn how to manage the money I already had coming in because if I can't manage what I have coming in, how can I manage more, right? And I also had to learn how to think bigger and stop putting limitations on myself. I would say the biggest thing I had to learn was how to practice better habits consistently because what's the sense in having a good habit if you can't do it consistently? It's no point. Overall, my character had to grow so that I would be able to sustain not just what the Lord wanted to do in me, but what he wanted to do through me. Proverbs 10.22 says, the blessing of the Lord makes us rich and adds no sorrow to it. And Zig Ziglar says, if you help enough people get what they want, you'll end up with what you want. So I believe this year, not only will I make more money than I've ever made in my life, I'll help more people than I've ever helped in my life. I believe not only will multiple members on my team make six figures, but Trinity is gonna join the Millionaire Club. Watch and see. I hope that me sharing my journey with you 
showed you how doing things God's way is so beneficial and how you can include them in your business. I pray that you take away the tips and nuggets that I gave and start applying them in your everyday life. Make sure you like and subscribe if you wanna follow my journey and grow with me and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I drop new content.